Testing, one, two, is this mic on? Hey guys, what's up? It is Tommy Toy Travels here. In an old school style review, what? Yes, I'm, I'm not even gonna use the turntable because right now I need to lay it down for you guys. Lay it, lay, lay the law here. And today what I am reviewing is the Dwayne The Rock Johnson SH Figyart figure and you might have realized that it did take me a long time to produce this video and I'm gonna tell you why and I'm also gonna tell you what I think of it so why did it take so long well to be honest I didn't want to make this video it it was like the most annoying thing in my backlog to to do this stuff to make reviews in this style the old school style well the new school style of super professional and stuff because that's not really who i am i'm a dude who likes to joke around and honestly i i doubt that the majority of people that watch my channel watch it to get uh, facts i bet they watch it to just come here and have fun and to escape from their life for a little bit so i I, I can do videos in this style much easier than I can in the other style. The other style was me acting as some professional person because if you know me in real life, I'm the least professional person. And the other reason is because I don't really like this figure and it was tough as heck for me to do in the professional style. Now, why don't I like it? Well, let's start off with why I do like it. It looks like the rock. It has great articulation, as you can see here. It's just like the Stone Cold Steve Austin. But the reasons why I don't like it are because it's difficult. Not in, it's difficult to review. It is difficult to review, but it's difficult to swap parts out and to just enjoy it as a figure. You know, I, I stand by the ideal, the ideology that toys shouldn't be difficult to swap parts. It should be simple. Like Hasbro, I might give them a lot of flack in the past. In the future, I won't review anything by them. So it's definitely in the past for how they make their figures. And I'll, I'll show you some different heads and stuff as this is going on or something uh, but with this to swap it out it's really a challenge like that didn't even go in that head was not on the peg it was just sitting kind of loosely in there and then pop it out that was on and then try and get this on it's a little challenging and I can't get it on right now and it is finally on but that took a bit too much force what about switching the hands? Is that going to be a challenge? He does come with a lot of hands, though. Let's check out the accessories for a second so you can see all the hands he comes with and stuff like that. Yes, he comes with so many, and it's great. But, like, I'm just trying to swap out the hands, and it's just not... It's not going in it's not like it, it is but it, it it hurts my fingers to do that and in my mind i think that's a failure of a toy to actually hurt you to try and make it do the task like yeah it's cool i can get a rock that's pointing and that his arms can move crazy amount of degrees and stuff like that but when it comes down to it i don't want a figure that's gonna look kind of good and fall apart and then even look at this face like sure it has the best rock likeness but then you got a face like this where the paint or the printing is all over the place i don't i don't understand how they can do something so beautiful with this head and then put out this head that just looks awful and doesn't even look like the rock like this could be a mattel head to be honest uh, like it looks like that Brock Lesnar screaming head that barely looks like Brock Lesnar, but we do get four heads, which is good so that you can take it out and switch it out. But I did have trouble with filming this and why I didn't put it up right after doing the stone cold review was because of the head switching issue. And I actually got a head stuck on the peg and the peg came out with the head and I didn't have any pliers at the time to put on, but it, it is the best looking rock figure at this scale. It's just such a shame that uh, Figure Arts doesn't really have the most user-friendly application of switching hands and stuff like that. Like for me, Hasbro is the golden standard for that. It's easy, you don't really have to get your hands hurt. They barely get red when switching anything, but this is challenging, this is difficult. And then the other reason why I'm not that big of a fan of it is for the price, Sure, you're getting a lot, sure you're like with those hands, with the mic, with the heads, but they should have included a stand. This is $60, 
three times the amount of a Mattel. Mattel, even though I rip them apart for every time they give the build a diorama, that's still a stand. This guy comes with none of that. And the problem with the rock that I didn't have with Stone Cold is if, if you want to recreate the rock's moves, like the rock bottom or the people's elbow, he goes against gravity. Like Stone Cold, you can you know do the stunner and stuff like that and just have him sitting there. But for the rock, do the rock bottom, like him falling. Let's see, let's see how well he can stand up doing the rock bottom or something, okay? He doesn't. He just falls straight down. So unless you want to recreate a moment like that, and look at how, un speaking of looking at how unprofessional this is, my bad. But he just he just sits here like this. And uh, it's fun if you, if you get it just for like a goofy Dwayne The Rock Johnson figure to go with all your anime girl figures. But as a wrestling toy, I'm disappointed. I think they definitely should have included a stand for this guy. And I know that's something Figma does every time they put out a figure. I barely get SH figure arts because I, I usually prefer Figmas because of how they just, they just work well, usually, you know, because maybe they're anime designs or something. I do have a lot of Star Wars. They don't come with stands. But this, this rock figure, it's cool and stuff, but I just don't think it's worth the money. And I think unless you get it for like 30 bucks, it's not really going to be that great, which is weird because I love the Stone Cold and he was like the same price and came with the same amount of accessories. But I feel like he was a lot easier to, to work with, to move. But this guy is just not what I want. But you compare him to the Mattel and it's like night and day. This guy is totally a better figure. You know, he can move a lot better. It's just that switching parts really bothers me and stuff like that. And I, I know a lot of people absolutely abhor the visuals of the articulation scheme on this guy. But I think that's just because they're not used to it. I say that all the time, but maybe, maybe it is ugly. But then again, isn't everything ugly when you really stare at it for a long time? It's like saying words after you say it for like 30 times in a row, it sounds really weird. Like Baroque, 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 Baroque. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. So everything's, oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to say. For some reason, there are like some chips and stuff in the head and the printing's just like, not what I wanted. It's, it's not that quality. There's painting errors and stuff that that is like Mattel level, but we're paying three times that amount. And on my Stone Cold, people really got peeved when I rotated at the waist and he broke. I don't know if he's supposed to rotate at the waist. I don't know if they are supposed to rotate at the waist, but The Rock can to a certain degree, but it's still a challenge and he doesn't break apart as easily as Stone Cold did. I know a lot of people took flack for that, but I still stand by that Stone Cold review, that it's the best Stone Cold figure you can get. But for The Rock, he has a Hot Toys from G.I. Joe, so I don't know if this is actually the best Dwayne The Rock Johnson figure. The Rock as a wrestler, probably even though it has so many flaws and I'm not recommending it in this video, it's still probably the best Dwayne The Rock Johnson figure because Mattel doesn't usually get his likeness down as well as this can. Uh, and he just comes with like a dinky microphone. Like he comes with those, those great heads, but Stone Cold seemed like a, a much better deal and see this head is just not going in and that's what i'm talking about it's it's too difficult to actually enjoy as a figure it just gets me so frustrated yo and i just want to add here i know a lot of people uh, will probably think like oh just put water on it just heat it up with a hair blower hair dryer uh but my take on that is like if you get some food at a restaurant and they didn't cook it enough and then they just say oh just bring it home throw it in your microwave it's like no i i paid this money to have it usable i know that companies don't always get it right and i don't think as a consumer it's on me to actually have to take the time 
to soften it up with hot water or a hair blower. I think it should just work when you buy it, when, especially when you pay $60. So that's my take on it. And this is why I, I really didn't want to do this as a professional review because I, I knew I wanted to just make it like a soapbox and just tell you straight up that I don't like this figure and that I don't recommend it, even though it is the greatest rock figure. And that sounds like such a paradox, but I just, I, if I can dissuade you from picking it up for anything over $30, that's what I'm doing in this video. So maybe you're, you're peeved about that. Maybe you, you like that because you prefer Mattel, but that's my straight up opinion. So thanks for watching this video. And I think that's all really I had to say, you know, I don't think there's anything left on the table to actually talk about. It's just a disappointing figure and probably is going to make it in my worst list of, did this come out in 2016? I don't know. I think I botched that baby, but yeah, disappointing. Sorry guys. I wanted to like it so badly, but I just can't in the state it's in. It's like getting a video game and there are just too many bugs. You know, if Hasbro can make head switching this easy, I'm certain that a $60 toy can. Also, this video is marking the return of the old school style for reviews. Maybe you're peeved, maybe you're happy. I don't really care because I'm happy. Oh, shit.